Welcome everybody to Sukaden 3. Are you hyped yet? I love that intro video. The music is so soothing. It's not quite like Sukaden 2 with that awesome song that got gets you all hyped and ready for war. This one was more soothing. It's like, are you ready to go on an amazing adventure? Because it's about time, baby. Anyways, welcome, guys. It's about time, right? For those of you who've been waiting on me to do this for a while, so ever since I did Sukaden 2, which is almost two years ago now, holy shit, uh, here it is. I'm finally doing Sukaden 3. It's something I've been waiting to do for a long time. Um, I, I've been really wanting to play this game very badly, not just on the channel, but in life. But I didn't want to play this game if I wasn't going to Let's Play it because it's such a long game, and I really wanted to make it a Let's Play. So... Oh shit, uh, don't watch the intro twice, sorry. Uh, let's get this game started. Uh, it's gonna take us a little bit here in the- Oh shit, now I just clicked- We're off to a fantastic start. Hold on. <laughs> alright, let's try that- uh, 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 mm, uh, did it again, did it again. So, let me just go ahead and point this out. First of all, we're playing this on my PS3, so... I will not be able to continue, or I should say, load up my saves from the previous two games, which will be an issue in a second. First of all, we have to name our champion's name. Enter Flame Champion's name. Now, the first thing you should note is, if you recall, in the first two games, the person you are naming is actually the main character of the game, right? Well, this game is a little bit different. So, because we got to name our Flame Champion, he's going to be named after me, because this is pretty much the only person we get to name in the whole game, well, other than the castle, but let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Funky G, he's going to be the Flame Champion. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. I am sure. Of this, I am sure. Now it's going to ask if you'd like to load your Sukaden 2 data. Now, I did load my Sukaden 1 data to my Sukaden 2 save, but now I am playing this on my PS3, so I cannot use that memory card to load. But, let me just take this chance to or time to tell you that loading your save from 2 to 3 doesn't really do that much. There's a couple dialogue things that will change a little bit based on what how you named things in your first two playthroughs, but otherwise, Nothing interesting. I'm not even kidding. There's no carryover. There's no side quests that, like like there was in Sukaden 2 that connects to Sukaden 1. There's nothing like that in this game. I don't remember there being anything. If there is something that's amazing to load your save, those of you who know can let me know. But as far as I know, there's nothing that interesting that comes from loading your save. So we're not going to worry about it. If it becomes a thing, well, maybe I'll come back and load my save and we'll play the my copy on my PS2, which I do have a PS2 copy. But, for now, we're playing this on my PS3 for the sake of being able to record this in a higher resolution. So, no, we are not loading my PS2 save. Or PS1 save, rather. Now, here's the big difference between Sukaden 1 and Sukaden 2. Well, I should say from Sukaden 2 to Sukaden 3 here. Here's Hugo. You press over. Here's Chris. Looks like a woman. And we have Ghetto! Yes, I pronounce his name Ghetto. I don't care if there's another way. His, his name's fucking Ghetto. Uh, yes, there are three storylines in this game. It's pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie. This, even though... Okay, let me just get, let me just get this right there. Those of you who know me know that my favorite game is Sukaden 2. Or at least have been around long enough to know this. Uh, you can imagine my hype for when I played Sukaden 3. So to see this when I started up the game, I was very off-put. And I did not know what to think. But after you've played this game, you realize it's a great, great entry into this series. And even though it's very different from 2, in my opinion, other than some of the obvious stuff that's the same, uh, it's still a fucking great RPG. I still love 2 more, but this is still a great RPG, and I'm very excited to play this again, because it's been a long time since i played this. Anyways, we're going to play these in canonical story order. At least as far as I'm concerned, this is canonical. So we're going to start this off with Hugo. It's pretty obvious why they put Hugo first, because this is the first one they want you to play. So let's do it. Hugo! In his house of whores. Alright, beautiful, nice little plain area. I like this. And we'll talk about the location of this game as, as it pertains to the other Sukaden games later. But they do not take place in the areas that you've been before in Sukaden 1 and 2. But they do take place in a place that you've heard of before. And I've talked about this a lot in Sukaden 2. For now, let's just start this off and we'll talk more about locale and characters and all that stuff in a bit. I'm going to go with this is probably Hugo. Holy shit, he's got a griffin and a duck with him. That's awesome. What a freaking sweet way to start off a game. He's riding on something, he's got a griffin, 
I, I called it something. It's kind of unicorn deer thing. I don't know. And he's got a duck that carries an axe. He looks awesome. Yeah. I did not know even what to do, like what is going on when I start this game up compared to the last one. And the fact that this is all 3D graphics because it's PS2 era, big thumbs up. Big, big thumbs up. All right. Huge O. Huge O. Huge O. Who's talking to him? Some dude. Hugo, I see we're both out early today. Why is your horse so tired? Have you been out hassling the sleeping earth spirits again? You know a better way to get their attention? With their help, I'll be the best rider in the village. Like you need their help. Ha! <laughs> You're already the best rider I know. Whoa, the duck talks. He talks. Spirits, get real. My duck clan doesn't believe in that nonsense. Open your mind, Sergeant. There's got to be more to the planes than meets the eye. If not spirits, then other hidden wonders. His name is Sergeant Joe, by the way, which is the best name for a duck I've ever seen in my life. If you waste your time wondering, you won't be alert and ready for the important things in life, like being a good soldier. Okay, duck man. As long as you and Fubar are with me, I fear no one. Alright, fair enough. That's the spirit. Fear is our worst enemy, right, Fubar? So I guess Fubar is the name of the, uh, the bird over here who's queeing like a chocobo. Hey, 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 buckle your beak, you insubordinate griffin. In case you didn't know it was a griffin. <laughs> Cut it out, you two. I'm starving. Let's get some food. All right. Sounds like a goddamn plan. Splendid! Karayan meals are always a pleasure, especially in the home of the Karaya clan chief. First thing you should note, Karaya. You should know that from Sukadin 2. Karaya clan chief. Do you remember who the clan chief was of the Karaya? Quick, trivia question. We'll get the answer to that in a moment, actually, so it won't take long. You know where to get yours, Fubar. Go ahead. Go hunt your own damn food. Yeah, you heard me. You don't get none of our awesome Korean dinner. So just as there were kobolds in the previous Sukadin games, there are duck people in this game. We'll just call them duck people for now. They pretty much are duck people. Anyway, when you start somebody's chapter, you'll get like an intro. So that was technically the intro to Hugo. But we're going to go ahead and start Chapter 1. We're not going to worry about the other characters right now. Let's not get you sidetracked on other characters right now. Let's just get through the first chapter of Hugo to kick this Let's Play off. Back at last? That sure was a long ride. This is Lulu, by the way. Well, well, look who's here. So, you're dining with us, eh, Lulu? Sergeant Joe looks unimpressed. Where is everybody? Is there a host to show us to the table? Was this a restaurant or something? Huh? You think it was a restaurant? Never-ending appetite, eh, Sergeant? <laughs> He's looking real hard for food. There you go, guys, to answer your question. Karayan Chief. Lucia. Yes, this is the same Lucia from Sukadin 2 that you fight near the end of the game that, you know, uses the whip and all the fire abilities and stuff. This is her. Moving on. A bit like your never-ending appetite for morning rides, son. Lulu, Sergeant. There's plenty of food. Help yourselves. I'll save my thanks for later after I've had my fill. Yum! You fucking duck. Hey, I was here first, bro! I don't know why I broed him. I'm probably going to stay away from the bro voice. Hold on. Wait for me. Hugo, come see me when you're done. Okay. Okay. Why? What's wrong? Why don't you eat first? Uh, okay. Whatever you say. Mom! Lucia, Lucia, Lucia. You never look so good, baby. So, if you didn't get from that conversation, Lucia is Hugo's mom. But we'll learn more about that as we go. Ah, now that's what I call full. If I ate any more, I'd explode. Somehow I think you'd still find a way to fit more in. <laughs> I noticed Lucia wanted a word with you. Is something bothering her? I don't know. I haven't talked to her yet. I should do that now, I guess. 
She'll probably give you guff for spending so much time away from home. What are you trying to say? You foolish duck, you. Quack, quack, quack. Don't worry, nobody's calling you a mama's boy. Just go talk to her already. While you were eating, or while we were eating, I saw Lucia heading toward my house. Okay, we'll go to your house then, wherever that is. All right, guys, our first look at ordering our party members. Um, I think the combo we should make here. Fubar is better off with Hugo. Mounted, do you see? They are friends, they mount each other. <laughs> mount your friends. Uh, you can leave Joe in the front and Lulu in the back. We already start the game off at level 12, 11, 15, and 10. That's pretty cool. And yes, very similar to uh, Sukadin 1 and 2. You have six party members at one time. Uh, you put them in a formation. And the only other thing you need to note is that they are paired together right now. That's how this game works. You pair them together. And we'll get into more of that when the battle system begins. But that's how. That's all you really need to know for the moment. All right, guys. Full 3D world Sukadin time. Are you ready? Let's start talking to people. Okay, that's the menu button. I gotta remember the buttons, by the way. Triangle, square goes. Okay, square's menu. Sorry, I thought it was triangle. I'm assuming X will talk to people, so let's try. I've always liked to cook, but it's best when you have somebody to cook for. Indeed. Why would you want to cook for yourself? Unless, you know, you live alone and you don't want to feed anybody because you're a goddamn food hog. I don't know. Hey, Hugo, you know, it's great to have a wife who cooks, man. I'm really happy I married her. I'm gonna go ahead and assume this is your wife because she likes to cook and you like to eat, so. You guys are perfect for each other. Damn right. Anyway, let's just start exploring the town. Let's check every house. What could it hurt? Yo, 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 what up, dog? The artisans are excellent. I am glad I came here all the way from Krish... K Chisha? Ch Chisha? Chisha. All right. I was going to call it Krishna. Yo, yo, what up, dog? You look like a blacksmith. You are a blacksmith, huh? Sweet. Hey, Hugo, you taking good care of your sword? Bring it in any time you want me to fix it. Is something wrong with my sword? I don't think I have the money to deal with this right now. Well, I guess I could. I'm not going to do any sharpening right now. Let's just leave that alone for now. Hey, lady. This is Isla. Okay. I need some different weapons, but it's hard to find good ones. Okay, Isla. Remember the note. It's Sukadin. You see their face and their name? You might recruit them someday. Yes, this is exactly like a Sukadin game that you would expect. So keep note of anybody you see their face and their name. They're either important to the story, or they're a character you can recruit at some point. We have to remain armed at all times. You never know when the war will start again. Indeed. Indeed. I don't know what war you're talking about, but I will agree for now. Let's get the hell out of here. Get out of here. Alright. What else we got going on around here? Oh, look. There's a little girl. Talk to the little girl. I found this on the ground right there. I'll give it to you if you want. Sure. I'll take it. I'll accept your antitoxin. It's funny that you can refuse items from people, but we're not going to refuse that. That's a useful item. It will heal poison, which we may come across sooner rather than later. Where did Isla go? Surely she isn't looking at weapons again. Well, you seem to know exactly where she is. Why don't you go fucking look, bitch? Ask me dumb questions. I tell you what, bitch. Alright, anybody hanging out in here? Anybody? Yo, what up? Supply shop owner. Please take a look around. So we got a supply shop here. Anything worth buying right now? Probably. I think, if I remember correctly, we should start off by buying at least... Medicine. We'll go ahead and put it in the party items for now. This game's a little bit different with the items. Everybody can hold their own items, plus there is a party item. Well, what am I saying this different? Every game had that, huh? Never mind. Take back what I said. Every character has their own item holding thing. I'm gonna buy an extra antitoxin. Don't worry, we may we will we will need antitoxin. In previous Sukuna games, antitoxin was almost useless, but we may have find a use for it pretty quickly in this one. Oh, this urn is nice. Look at the way it curves here. Okay, well. That's cool. Fucking make love to your urn, then. You should make the hole a little smaller, though. Defensive gear vendor. Okay, he's got weapons and armor, or just armor? I guess just armor. Do we need any armor from this guy? I don't think we need to bother with any of this right now. Um, no. He's got armor and stuff. We don't have money for any of that right now. The fact that I even had enough to buy medicine and stuff was a miracle. But don't worry. There's nothing else I need to buy here. That's all I wanted to buy for now. Um... There are there is one more thing I want to do here, but we gotta find it first. You take care. The meadows and woods are full of danger. If you see anything bad, run as fast as you can. Like the gingerbread man. But you know what? I'm not even level one, girl. I, I am leveled up already. We should be able to handle anything at our current level already. Yo yo, what up, lady? It's great to have visitors. You've learned so much from them. Oh yeah? You got a visitor in here? Where's he at? Or she? 
Who is old lady? Hey, old lady. Innkeeper. Whoa, Hugo. It's been a long time. Want you stay here? What do you say? No, I'm good. No thanks. Maybe later when I'm actually hurt. Hey, there's a duck guy. Hey, duck guy. Oh, hey. Need any medicine? Didn't fit in my bag. Do you want it? Of course I want some free medicine D. Now, the reason why it's called medicine D is because, you know, remember previously there was medicine and mega medicine? Well, in this game, there's different levels of medicine, you know, like how much it'll heal. And it's just, it's labeled medicine D, C, B, and A. All the way up to A, obviously. So, take note of that. Oh, hey. What up, dog? What up, dog? I didn't even mean to activate such cutscene, but here we go. Still working on that armor, Jimba? Apparently this is Jimba. Greetings, Hugo. I have to say, this armor's been through quite a lot. Harsh elements and all. It needs proper care. Okay. You've never mentioned how you got this Zexin armor in the first place. Zexin? You should know the name Zexin, at least mentioned in pre previous Sukadin games. I acquired it from a past acquaintance. Okay... Give it up, Hugo. He won't even tell me his own brother. All he ever says is that it's from a soldier he knew long ago. So Lulu is apparently brothers with this Jimba guy. That's what you get from that. I speak the truth, Lulu, and when you're old enough to understand everything, I'll explain more of the story. Oh, Fox Dung. Just when am I supposed to be old enough to understand? Fox Dung. When you realize how not grown up you are now, quack! You want you want to go, bro? <laughs> Nobody asked you, stupid duck face. Okay, you don't have to tell us, but if you're trying to protect it from the elements, why do you keep it outdoors? Our mother can't stand the smell of iron. It reminds her of a cruel past. Makes sense, I guess. Hugo, don't look that way. Everyone knows what great warriors my older, other older brothers were. My brother Jimba is no less worthy. Uh oh. Who the fuck's this fat lady? What's going on here? Hugo, I might have known. Scrawny as ever, I see. No, I don't like that voice. We'll go with something else. Ha! Huh. You say that every time you see him. Obviously, he has more important matters to think about than food. Oh, there's Lucia. Oh, that's right. He, Lulu did say that Lucia was heading toward uh, his house, so we must be here. Anyway, well, Hugo, are you ready for our talk now? I guess so. Sure, Mother. Uh, what's this all about? I know you're aware of the true sh negotiations with Zexin. The next step is for you to deliver an official message to Vene del Zexe. The trip may take about a week. Vene del Zexe. I love that name. We'll talk about that name later more, but I love it. I love the name. Um, I don't think it matters what choice you pick here. No, it doesn't. Let's just pick... Uh, the Zexin Capital? The Zexin Capital? What? Yes, you must deliver the message directly to the head of the Zexin Council. The Zexin Capital is nothing like grassland. The streets and the walls are all made of stone. When your duties are complete, see what you can, can of the city before returning. Okay, cool. Official message? What's the message exactly? It is for the early negotiations toward a peace agreement. The Zexin Council has been informed a messenger will come. Okay. You want me to go? Apparently we get to exhaust all options. That's good. You are the son of the Grassland Clan Chief. If not you, then who? Guess you have a point. Zexin must see Grassland as a political equal, so sending a Clan Chief is unacceptable. By birth, you are the best choice for a trusted official messenger. Okay, then. Can I count on you? Sure, mother. I got this. I'm up to it. Hell yeah, bitch. Ha! <laughs> That's not surprising. He's just like his mother. Brave as a jaguar. I don't know what the fuck to do with that lady's voice. Loose. I'm gonna call her Loose. She's either Loose or she's Lucy. I'm just gonna call her Loose. Good, I'm, I'm proud of you. Have a safe and successful journey. See you later. Just fucking kick us out right away. Let's not forget that I, the bravest of the Duck Clan, will accompany you. Oh, who invited you along? I want to go too. Can I please, Mother? Uh, no. Spirits, no. Hugo is going as a respected representative of Karaya. How do you fit in? 
just fine, thank you. Even when Hugo's busy, I'll still have Fubar and Sergeant Joke around to keep me safe. Uh. They're not playing around, my child. This is a serious journey. Only if you promise to stay out of trouble. Oh, yeah, promises. <laughs> yes, oh, yes. Is it okay with you, Hugo? Can I go? Can I? Can I? Ha, 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 ha. Uh. Well, okay, fine. I'll keep you safe. Fine. Why not? Why not? I'll keep you safe. Lulu, I'll keep us both from harm. I promise you won't regret this, Hugo. I promise, I promise, I promise! God, you're a little punk ass. Indeed, let us pray for no regrets. Indeed. I guess you've made up your minds, Ben. I hate to see you go, Lulu, but I can't stop you. <laughs> Hugo, you should start getting ready. You leave first thing tomorrow morning. All right, then. One other thing, Hugo. Lulu. Learn well what a Zexan looks like. Not every helmet seen from afar is being worn on a Zexan head. Okay. Got it! Sergeant, thank you in advance for all your assistance. Uh, no problem. Anytime. Okay, then. You take letter to Zexan. Sounds good. Jimba, what up, dog? You may encounter monstrous enemies in the woods. If you do, just run. You'll never beat them. Bitch, you don't know what I'd do against them monsters, yo! No, but he's serious. Sometimes you run into a rare monster encounter and it'll kick your ass. It's random though, so, you know, random battle style. Don't go to menu. I'm trying to talk to the beasts. Watch out for yourself, okay? When you get back, be sure to tell me all about Vinay Del Sexe. Eh? Well, I'll tell you about all about the sexy right now. Cause I'm bringing sexy back, baby. Anyway, what up, Luce? I know it's a lot to ask Hugo, but do take care of Lulu. If he whines, there's no need to be nice to him. Alright, cool. I'll be kicking him in the nuts. Hugo, hurry up and get your stuff ready for tomorrow. Bitch, don't fucking rush me, mom. You don't know me. You don't know what I bit. Oh, wait. You are my mom. Never mind. Never mind. You're my mom. You know me. Still same OG. Alright, so... We haven't finished looking around, though. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, let's see. Uh, let's talk to the old lady. My son married a really nice girl, so that's a load off my shoulders. Now I don't have to deal with his bitch ass. <laughs> Did we go in this house before? I don't remember. No, oh, oh, nope. This must be where we need to go. Hold up. Hey. Got a problem? Don't you think you'd better start preparing for the trip now? Nah, um, not yet. There's something I want to do in town before we get ready to go. Okay, then, but don't say I didn't warn you if you forget something. Indeed, that's the point. I don't want to go yet. There's something I wanted to do. I didn't remember which house is which, so you'll have to forgive me if I feel like if you feel like I'm wasting time here. There we go. This is the guy I wanted to talk to, the Bujutsu teacher. Hugo, are you practicing properly? If you need somebody to practice with, come see me at the time. Okay, so this is one new mechanic to this game that you have not seen before because it never existed. Lesson. All right, what you get, this game has skills. You look over on the right or the left there. You'll see that everybody has little skills with rankings. Why would you talk to a Pujutsu teacher? Well, you see down there on the bottom where it says skill 180? I have 180 points that I can use on essentially on abilities or skills we'll call them. And these will, if you look at the bottom, each one of these tells you what they do. You know, raise the chance of inflicting heavy damage, counterattacking, raises the speed of your weapon swing, and erase the actually of overcoming foe's defense. You can even level up your magic if you have a rune. Yes, runes are your magic still. That's still the same. Or you can learn a new skill, which we're not going to do that right away here. But what we are going to do is we're going to take Hugo and we're going to level this up. So his swing is a little faster, a little happier, a little brighter. Booyah. Level, level D swing. No, don't do another one. Um, and we're also going to level up his accuracy to not just D rank. But if we have enough, we're also going to go to C rank. Because accuracy is obviously a very useful thing. Enemies will dodge you. You will have a better chance of hitting them with higher accuracy. Fubar, do the same thing. Accuracy up. Damage would be nice, yes, but accuracy much more useful at this point in the game. You want to be able to hit your enemies. You don't want to waste your time missing and getting hit back. You don't want that to happen. And trust me, you want to do these upgrades here in the beginning. If you don't... You will have a fun time getting hit a lot and having to heal a lot. This will save you from having to heal as much as you normally would. I'm pretty much just going to give everybody accuracy, except for Master Lulu down here. He doesn't have accuracy, so we're just going to level up his repel ability. 
Just once, because that's all we can afford right now. And don't worry, we'll do more of this later. Um, if you didn't notice, people in my party do have runes already. Hugo has a wind rune. Uh, Fubar has a shining wind rune. Sergeant Joe has a water rune. And right, oh right, and Lulu has a sword of cyclone rune. The sword of cyclone rune, I believe, just means he has a uh, cyclone rune on his weapon. I don't, I don't know. Quote me on that. I think that's what it is, though. Um, but the other, you know, we know what a wind rune does. We know what a water rune does. These are things that have happened in Sukadin before. They have not changed. It's just we have magic already this early on in the game. It feels wonderful here. I must give thanks to the spirits of the wind and the earth. I've had enough of this stench of conflict. Me too. It smells like shh. All right. So what are we doing here? Hey, there's a, who's this lady? I haven't seen her before. Anne, I hear you're going to open a business. Who's Anne? She looks hot. Yes, a small pub. And I'll be able to offer you... All I'll, <laughs> and all I'll be able to offer you now is juice. But come visit after I open. And maybe I'll give you some adult juice. Oh, I definitely will. You know me, baby. Still that same Hugo. What does Iron Head mean? I don't know. You tell me. The one for me. Listen, don't you ever trust those action iron heads? I think iron head just means they wear an iron helmet. Or maybe he just thinks their heads are make up, made of iron because they're big dumb soldiers and shit. I don't know. Sounds racist to me. Fucking iron heads. Fucking iron maiden heads over here. Isn't that what the iron maiden fans are called? Iron heads? Don't quote me on that. I'm not an iron maiden fan, so a made iron maiden fan. I really want to be able to ride them too. You must be talking about the, yeah, these things. The thing that we rode in on. I don't think we ever get to ride another one of those, by the way, so I hope you enjoyed the opening cutscene where we were riding on one. That'll never happen again. It's hard work thinking of menus every morning. Oh, is this the, is this the, rest, uh, the restaurant? Oh, um, did I not talk to the little girl the first time? Oh, mom, I'm hungry, is it ready yet? No, you little fucking spoiled whore. Hey, old guy, what's up? Beecham. Oh, hey, Hugo, are you helping your mother properly? That's not a good voice for him, but whatever. We're only talking to him once for now. Anyway, we've seen a few people with faces in this village. Will they become stars of destiny later? Or will they just be main characters that we talk to again or see again at some point? I don't know. It'll all play out the way it plays out, and that'll be what happens. So let's just wait until that time. Anyways, we're done here. Let's go ahead and do what we were going to do when we went into the main house, which is prepare ourselves for tomorrow's journey. This beginning part actually took me a lot longer than I expected it to, but that's okay. I just wanted to get up to a certain point so we can have a little bit of a talk about what we're going to do in between the first and second episodes here. I suppose so. I can't wait to get started. See you tomorrow, fellow travelers. <laughs> I never said that word. Oh my god, I can't believe I got to say those words and, be, and mean it. Don't ever sleep or we'll leave without you. Damn right. Must make sure I pack everything. What do you think, Hugo? Are ten different outfits enough? <laughs> Except for that you'll be wearing the same outfit for the whole rest of the game, because that's how RPGs work. Uh, oh well. Now loading! <laughs> anyway. Hey, what's everyone doing here? We'll return in short course. We'll certainly pray for your quick return and protection along the way. Lulu, aren't you ready yet? <laughs> Hold on, I think I've overpacked. Better safe than sorry. Did you pack medicine too? Oh, I bought an extra one, don't you worry about me. Yeah, yeah, you keep acting like we're going to get hurt or something. Hmm. Well, how do we know what a Zexan will do? They may look friendlier than they are. Who knows? Mm. Yes, yes, I'll watch out. No wandering on my own. No strange food or drink. Anything else? Don't even ask. <laughs> Hugo, your experience of the world beyond Grassland is not as important to me as your safe return. Fair enough. Aw, big hug from Mommy. May my Hugo walk with the divine protection of the Earth and Wind Spirits. Um, well then, I'm off. <laughs> I know, somehow you'll be fine. Oh, I'll be just fine, Mommy. <laughs> Divine protection. Hope there's enough to go around. Uh. Oh yeah, you're so funny. The same goes for you too. 
Ah! Yeah, big hug, needle keys. May Lulu walk with the divine protection of the earth and wind spirits. <laughs> Starting right now, can't breathe, Mom. <whistles> yeah, Fubar said, hell yeah. Hell yeah, let's get it cracking, bitches. Let's cracking, little bitches. I believe we have one more thing to do on our way out of village. Um, I'm not sure if it happens automatically as we're leaving, but I'm tempted to try and leave and find out. Yes, it does. Okay. Let's get this last little thing out the way before we wrap this first episode up. Hugo, I have a favor to ask of you. Sure. What is it? Take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this to the Light Fellow family in Vinay del Sexe. Okay, what the fuck is it? Star of David? What is this? All I can say is that it once belonged to a brave Sexen soldier who died long ago. When you give it to his family, tell them that he died heroically. Okay. The soul of a warrior. Eh, okay. I'll take good care of it. Sure, why not? I trust you will do so. Because if you don't, my sword will find your your pretty little neck. Consider it delivered. The shizzle. The pentacle. Alright. Pentacle it is. The pentacle. When this is delivered, my biggest burden will be lifted. Hurry. May the Divine Ones protect you. Thank you. Farewell for now, Hammy. And Lulu. Do nothing that would sadden your mother. Or me. I'll be fine, you'll see. So long, brother. So long, brother. Brother. Don't worry, we have Duckman with us. Duckman and fucked up beyond all relief. I mean, Fubar. Alright, well then. The intro is done. Welcome to the world map of Sukadin 3, friends. And it's gonna carve out our path to where we're headed. But yes, welcome to the map of Sukadin 3. A far cry difference from Sukadin 1 and 2. Now here's one of the things that the game is lacking. A world map that's awesome. World map is not bad. This is the whole thing, by the way. You can see the entire game right here, right now. This is the entire thing, yes. It doesn't look huge. There will be a lot more dots on the map later, don't worry. Um, it's funny, because the first time I saw this, I was like, what the hell, man? Is this fucking Final Fantasy Tactics all over again? Very reminiscent of that map. Although a lot more of this got laid out. Well, sometimes it happens. Anyway, we can kind of see where our journey's going to take us. we got to get to Venedel Zexe. But that's not where we're going right away, actually. Even though that it will be our end game here in Chapter 1. We're actually going to go over here to Duck Village first. Um, I think I might save it for next episode. But the plan is, before we head to Venedel Zexe, get money, fuck bitches. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get money. Maybe fuck bitches. That, that was just an add-on. That's an added bonus. But we're definitely going to get money. A big part of this game in the early parts is lack of money, and fighting battles is just not... It's not reasonable to sit there and grind in battles to get money. But there's a nice little mechanic in this game where you can get a nice little chunk of money, and we're going to exploit it a little bit to save time. Um, but I'll show you how to do that in the next episode. As for this first episode, that's going to wrap it up. I'm actually going to head back into Cry Village because I want to save, you know, save our progress. But that's going to wrap up this first episode of the game. Um, I hope you guys are ready for this Let's Play. It's going to be a long affair. Um, in, a, in comparison to the, the length of Sukadin 1 and 2, it will be longer than those most likely, especially in hours. Um, whoa, what the hell? Is there another cutscene here? Or? Hugo, don't tell me you forgot to bring the message. Or are you homesick already, quack quack? Oh, can we not go in the... No, we're good. We're just not supposed to come back here until we're ready to deliver the message. I just wanted to save it, which means this house, I think. Um, anyway, I know, like I said, the other the other two games are long. This one is longer, by far, because of the way it's split up into chapters and stuff with different characters. Um, but I just want to mention that the plan... Or I should say, first of all, the, the fact that I'm doing longer episodes these days is going to bode well. This Let's Play won't be... It might even be less episodes than Sukuna 2, just because of the fact that I do longer episodes. But regardless of that, just I, I'm very excited to do this game. I am, I am. I hope you guys are at least mildly excited, even though it's not a blind playthrough. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say. As for the next blind RPG, for those of you who have been waiting and wondering what that's going to be, 
It should already be obvious. I've already talked about it before. I'll go ahead and say it again now, just for those of you who are not looking forward to this one and uh, want to know when there will be another blind RPG, because usually I like to do one of those all the time. We will not be doing one of those until Xenoblade Chronicles X comes out. So until that comes out, this will be our RPG, and it will continue to be one of our RPGs even when, after Xenoblade comes out. But for now, this is our lone RPG. So in the next episode... I shall teach you a way to exploit monies, just like real life. See you guys then. Peace!